Hello everyone. In ILRDI series, let's discuss a very easy set from CAT 2022 third slot. This set, we have four different kind of tables or graph you can say. So in the following uh, year correspond to first year, uh, first of January of that year. A study to determine the mortality rate of a disease began in 1980. The study choose 1000 males and 1000 females and followed them for 40 years or until they died. Whichever came first. The 1000 males chosen in 1980 consisted of 250 each of ages 10 to less than 20, 20 to less than 30, 30 to less than 40 and 40 to less than 50. This one. Like in, so age slab will be changing as people are getting older. Let's say the 1000 females chosen in 1980 also consisted of 250 each ages 10 to less than 20, 20 to less than 30 and so on. Now it says the four figures below depict the age profile of those among 2000 individuals who were still alive in 1990, 2000, 2010 and 2020. The blue bars in each figure represent the number of males in each age group at that point in time while the pink bars represent the number of females in each age group at that point in time. So the number next to the bar gives give the exact numbers being represented by the bars. For example, we know that 230 males among those who tracked and who were alive in 1990 were aged between 20 to 30. 20 to 30, 230 males. That's it. Very simple to read. Nothing hidden, no logic. So let's solve these questions straight away. In 2000, means 20 years later, what was the ratio of number of dead males to dead females among those who, be, who are being tracked? So these are alive people in 2020. These are alive people. So 160, 100, 260, 440. This is 645 people are alive. This one 120, 270, 480 and these are 655 females are alive. So how many of them are dead? 1000 minus 645, 355 are dead and number of females who are dead 345. So the ratio that we want is 355 is to 345. Divide both of these by 5, we get this is 71 and this is 69. So answer is C. Second question, how many people who were being tracked and who were between 30 and 40 years of age in 1980 survived until 2010? So 30 to 40 in 1980. The difference of 30 years. So we are talking about 60 to 70 years people. Right. So who, it says how many people who were being tracked and who were between 30 to 40 years of age survived until 2010. So 2010, we need to find about 60 to 70. So this value is 90. This value is 100. 100 plus 90 straight away 190. Option B is correct. Third question, how many individuals who were being tracked and who were less than 30 years of age in 1980 survived until 2020? Less than 30 in 1980 means less than, this is 40 years, so less than 70. It will be less than 70 in 2020. So we are talking about less than 70, these three. Some of these is 265 males and 205 females. Some is 470 in total. Option A is correct. Question number four, how many of the males who were being tracked and who were between 20 to 30 years of age in 1980 die in the period 2000 to 2010. 
So these people 20 to 30 will become 40 to 50 during 2000 and 50 to 60 during 2010. So 40 to 50, how many males are there in 2000? 205. And 50 to 60, how many males are there? 165. So the difference is 40. So 40 males died between these years. Question number five, last question it says, how many of the females who were being tracked and who were between 20 to 30 years of age in 1980 died between age of 50 and 60. 50 and 60 means 30 years later. We are talking about 2010. So in 2010, how many females, so how many of the females who were being tracked, who were between 20 to 30 years died, right? So 2010 and 50 to 60, this value is 145, right? And before that, these people must have been 40 to 50 years age, 10 years ago, and this number is 175. So the difference is 30. So exactly 30 females died when they were 50 to 60 years which were 20 to 30 years in 1980. So it was one of the easiest set that you can get in CAT. Could have been solved under five minutes very easily and much time to focus on other set. That's why scanning is very important. Easy 15 marks. I hope you understood the solution. And for more such video, you can go to ILRDIY iQuanta playlist on YouTube. Thank you.